Uh, this is Paul. Yeah. I was reading you in the law. Yes. <laughs> they have uh, what is called, um, let's say you died. Okay. <laughs> and every estate has a certain exemption uh, that an individual can receive during their life when you're alive. <laughs> And I think that's about $650,000. <laughs> now, each year you can gift somebody about thirteen dollars to $14,000 per person without having to pay any uh, gift tax on the money. Yes. <laughs> and I mentioned that, you know, for those that were getting a bag of cookies and $20,000, actually you're old, you, you, you have to pay the gift tax on that money. <laughs> Now, as I remember, it's about 35%, but over the years, if you have gifted out of your estate more than approximately $650,000, that would be the, the tax credit phase, uh, they call it uh, the unified tax credit. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking about your estate after you die. I'm saying that during your life, you can gift out of your estate approximately $650,000. And there might be an accountant or somebody that would go through and find out exactly how much of your personal assets can you gift out while still being alive without uh, in some way violating the gift tax laws or those laws that are, are applicable to those that have died. Now let's say you decide to clone yourself. Maybe you made old 20, 30 of yourselves because you got to have twins, female twins, male twins because you're you're gonna inbreed the, the population. <laughs> and some people know that they're, you know, a twin, a triplet, a quadruplet. Some people do or do not know that they are the DNA of, <laughs> of a grandparent or, or some other sperm or ovary. <laughs> And as you look through the DNA that's being used uh, to make the inbred uh, uh, federal government of the United States, you might find that that DNA that was actually being used to father gut was the DNA of some very wealthy fish family members. <laughs> seem like the wealthy always try to corner the market on taking over nations. <laughs> now when you go to die, okay, you look through how much money did you actually gift out during your life. <laughs> and if you gifted out more than $650,000 to your personal family members or friends, <laughs> uh, there's probably a big whopping tax that is owed. <laughs> Now, as that American citizen that has informed the oaths of office that my rights are being violated, <laughs> uh, when you issue this protection order without the signature of the petitioner, without the, the signature uh, or the actual notice and opportunity to be heard from myself, yeah, uh, I'm suing every elected and appointed oath of office. Now, a lot of those that are in politics, <laughs> they might have thought, well, I better clone myself. And maybe they did understand it was a biohazardous weapon designed to kill the population. And maybe they didn't. <laughs> but in the event of your death, I have to look at the total amount that you gifted out of your personal estate to cover the expenses of all of those that you had cloned. I want to know the DNA of every clone. <sighs> then I want to know what rich fat cat decided that they had to have so many of themselves. Then I want to know how they supported all the clones that they made of their fish family members, their pig family members, or those in the lizarded family. <laughs> then I want to know if they gave more than the unified tax credit <laughs> and violated the tax laws of the United States. Now it sounds complex, but when you really get in the nuts and bolts of it, it's not that difficult to see. <laughs> that there are probably certain groups of individuals that really embrace the idea of having having being the royal family of the United States. <laughs> they were going to be that good family of all the inbreeds of all of those that they've been hiding for the last 50 years. <laughs> now you can appreciate that I'm just an American citizen sitting here and I've been to jail four different times without really any probable cause and 
I spent a lot of time in jail and emailing those. Now, it says here that if you have experienced sexual abuse or sexual harassment, you don't have to suffer alone. <laughs> For free help, contact the following agency, Healthy Families, 24-hour. <laughs> I had been to Healthy Families of Clallam County when I went to the children in the middle class, and <laughs> I had written a response and had stopped by there, and I wanted to give the response to Healthy Families because they were that not-for-profit that was really the fiduciaries of my five sons. Now, I know I've emailed hundreds of these victim resources and the free homeless help and legal clinics and all of those in the charities that are supposed to care about the rights of Americans being enforced, and I've never gotten a response. I never have! So I'm just going to need to know the cell phone numbers of every charity that has received any, well, bequeath. I made mention once that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation had given Healthy Families of Clown County $425,000. That was something I had read. Now, let's say you're working in a charity that should care about the homeless, because I, 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 well, it was maybe three, four days ago, I emailed those in the homeless, and I said, well, I'm homeless, and I'm trying to get some pro bono help because my constitutional rights are being violated. <laughs> and I didn't get any response. Now, it could be law enforcement not enforcing cybercrime. <laughs> it could be those in charities that said, well, it's not really our jurisdiction, but when I inform you of a crime and you decide you're not going to enforce the law, I'm that American citizen will take your cell phone number for the last 20 years and find out if you yourselves have been in an I illegal secret underground locations where you had to get your brain sucked out. <laughs> so I would just like to know the exact DNA and then what big families decided they were going to be the inbreeds of the United States of America. The world. <laughs> and then all the charities that have been getting all those charitable contributions from all those wealthy families that, for the most part, are just a bunch of inbreeds. And then <laughs> I'm going to sue Healthy Families of Clown County for not giving me the exact same representation because they're the only charity that I could go to about sexual, sexual harassment. I know, <laughs> being pissed on doesn't seem like a big deal, but let's say I found out that my sons had actually ingested another man's sperm or my sperm without my knowledge. <laughs> I know that I didn't put any of it on their tongues. <laughs> Now, that being understood, I'm concerned about America's charities that are focused on the homeless, <laughs> those that are victims of malicious harassment, those that are victims of cyber crimes, those that are victims of vexatious prosecution, and those that are victims of their, their civil rights not being enforced. So I just want to know every 501c3 that receives any state funds or any any private gifts from any large families that decide they need to clone themselves. <laughs> but on the outward, they always look like they care about those that are homeless or those that are having their rights violated. <laughs> but on the inward, they're thinking, well, I want to be the senior, 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 the good father. Okay. Now give me the charities. <laughs>